What's up, YouTubers? Navi17 here with another Injustice Gods Among Us video for you today. Today, we will be doing challenge number five on expert difficulty of the Bane Luchador card that's going on right now. So, let's jump into it. As you know, this challenge requires that Flash to be on your team. I already preset my team here, so I will be using Insurgency the Joker with. Market of Lady Shiva on Elseworld Flash and Harley Quinn Bronze card. Every fight in this challenge costs three energy per fight and one challenge token. All right, let's jump into it. The first fight is 200,000 credits to skip, and we're going up against Nightwing, Harley Quinn, and Black Adam. Alright, so as we start the fight, we got Mr. Black City over here just blocking everything I throw at him, and he's getting quite annoying, so I'm going to use Bang. I was hoping he was going to hit him, but then Harley Quinn tags in, so that sucks. Alright, I down Harley Quinn pretty, pretty easy. In comes Black Adam. I block his level 1 special. He hits me with a couple melee hits. I hit him with a crit melee hit. I use a laughing gas on Miss. Oh, no, not laughing gas. Poison Flower on Mr. Damage Migration, and he didn't have enough damage migration for that, so put his ass down. Alright, first fight's in the bag, folks, and we get 405 credits. That's what I'm talking about. Moving on to the second fight, everybody. We are going up against Cyborg, Batman Beyond, and Bane. Yeah, right. This should be pretty easy. So how you guys doing today? I'm doing pretty good. I feel good. And life's good, so that's always what what's the word? Good. So as we start this fight, I'm welling down on this sucker. And he tags out because he got scared. Next you know Batman comes in and he's like, yo, yo, and I'm then I'm like, shut the fuck up, bitch, I just killed your ass. And I put a poison flower on Bane too while I'm at it. That's how OG I am. Next you know, he's, uh, Bane's like, oh, uh, 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 tag out. And then Cyborg comes in. He's like, I got your ass fist to the face. I'm like, bitch. And he goes down. <laughs> I don't know what the hell's wrong with me. Then that fight's in the bag, and we got 435 credits. Moving on to the third fight. After this fight, I'll have to switch out. We got Power Surge going on. That's awesome. Awesome. It's against Solomon Grundy, Prison Superman, and Insurgency, The Joker. I just want to call him the Joker. I don't know why they have the Joker in front of his name. So, I'll just call him the Joker. Alright, so I got hit by the level 2 special of Solomon Grundy. And then I KO'd myself. In doing so, I killed like half of my health. In comes Superman getting his ass whooped. And down goes Superman getting that ass whooped. And that is the third card in the bath. So what do we have to do? We have to switch out our cards. 465 credits is what we get for that. So we will be switching. And who will I use? Who will I use? I want to use a fully upgraded gold card. So I'm going to put uh, Insurgency Batman in there. I will put uh, Deathstroke in there. And let me go find another uh, Flash card to put in there real quick. Is there any fully upgraded? Yep, we got a bronze flash card. Gonna put him in there. Gonna give uh, Batman Mark of the Lady Shiva. And we'll breeze through these pretty uh, pretty simple. Alright, now we're on to the fourth fight, guys. Here we go. It's against Lex Luthor, Regime Black Adam, and Red Sun Deathstroke. Alright, starting to fight off against uh, Lex Luthor. He hit me with a heavy attack, and then he just got me again, that asshole. Alright, I'm beating him down pretty well. My Insurgency Batman is not Elite 7, so he's not hitting as hard as he could. I don't know what the upgrade difference would be. I can only expect that it would be uh, increased. Red Sun uh, Deathstroke is down. That's a card that I don't have. I've yet to get it from a Challenge Booster Pack 2, by the way, even though it advertises it for him on the uh, description. Just wanted to throw that out there. Alright. Black Adam hit me with his uh, special... I blocked this other one, and then he's blocking my level 2 special. Will it be enough to kill him? Yes, it will be, and he's put down like a sad puppy. For all you guys out there that have sad puppies, I, uh, yeah. Oops. 495 credits is what we get for that fight, so that's cool. Moving on to the next fight. 
We are going against the Flash, Green Arrow, and Batgirl. Batgirl is a really useful card, man. I haven't, uh, haven't upgraded her that much, though. Very useful card, though. Everybody starts off with one special. That's cool. It'd be pretty cool for Arkham, uh, for this Batman, actually, because, you know, his, uh, special trait is along with his, uh, level one special, so that's, that's, that was actually helping him out in a pretty good deal. We took down the silver card Flash pretty easy. In comes Batgirl, beat my ass, so I'm gonna hit her with the level two special. Hopefully this is killer. This will kill her and get a uh, arrow in. I love arrow. Arrow is an awesome card. If you guys haven't got him, get him. He's awesome. In comes arrow. He's just like Martian Manhunter, but in my opinion, way better. Way better. All right, and down goes arrow after he was giving me some hurting with those flame arrows. All righty. 299 experience, and we're not getting that much experience. 525 credits. Almost got, uh, 380,000 credits. All right, now we're on our sixth fight, and we got regeneration going on against Regime, Green Lantern, Bane, and Red Sun, Solomon Grundy. Red Sun, Solomon Grundy is awesome when you pair him with uh, Wonder Woman and Superman. It's my dream team online, by the way. If you guys haven't watched my videos and found that out yet, shame on you. Uh, no, all jokes aside, he's pretty awesome. He's, pr he's pretty awesome because of the 45% health increase he gives if you have three red sun packs. I had to down Green Lantern for my level 2 special because he was annoying the fuck out of me because he just kept blocking my moves. In comes Bane, who is super slow, by the way. Hope he doesn't block this and it kills him. And he blocked it, of course. And he blocks my heavy attacks, of course, and he didn't block him that time. And I'm hitting with the level one special again. Hopefully, it, yep, it hits him and kills him. Six fight is in the bag, and I'm gonna have to change out my characters yet again, guys. So bear with me. Experience went up by two points. Ooh, that's a that's a big whoop right there. All right, now I got 380,000 credits. What should I spend my credits on, guys? Tell me. What should I spend my credits on? Let me know. Come on. What would you like to see me spend my credits on? That's the video of the day. Yep, that will be the video of the day. What do you guys want to see me spend my credits on? Do uh, you guys have any special interests? Let me know. All right. We are going to put Bronze Card Flash in here, and then we're just going to tackle on Prison Superman. We will be giving Doomsday Market of Lady Shiva to make this go faster. And we'll be giving him power gloves because he only has two hits. And so, also make his melee a lot more stronger. Alrighty. Now we're on to the seventh fight of 15. So we are practically halfway. Alright, we're going against Regime Sinestro, Batman, and Regime Raven. What is Regime's Raven's uh, special trait there? Do you guys know? Uh, can you guys let me know uh, in the description box below what her special trait is? I have no idea. I think another video asked if she's any good. So, apparently I'm very curious about Raven. Alright, fight's in the bag. Moving on to the 8th uh, fight in the ladder. It will be against Deathstroke... Regime Wonder Woman and Prison Superman. So, not so bad. Deathstroke got hit with two heavy attacks. There are crits. By the way, if you guys don't have any gear cards and you're curious, you should get uh, melee gear cards, my opinion. Unless you want to be the health people. And then health, health is the way to go. Regenerate your health, but you have to stack them. Otherwise, I don't think it gives you that much of health back. Then again, I don't know that much so about health. I'll, I must, I'm just a melee person myself, so melee is the way to go, in my opinion. All right, eight fights in the bag. Moving on to the ninth. Oh, we got the random credit Im increase of twelve thousand six hundred and fifteen. That is awesome. All right, on to the ninth fight. It's against Bane, Lobo, and Zod with radiation on. So after this fight, we have six more fights to go, which is two more uh, character swap outs. And then we'll be done with expert difficulty. Pretty cool. It wasn't that, uh, it wasn't that long of a challenge. Didn't really feel that long. Alright, almost KO'd Bane there. I was pretty sure he was going to tag out. 
Yep, and just like that he tagged out. He was like, Oh, I don't want to disappoint you. KO'd Lobo with there. Phantom Zone su Survivor. Oh, that's right. They changed General Zod's stupid special, which is so dumb. And then I KO'd Zod and Kato Bane. Making this challenge look pretty easy. Doomsday's a really good card if you guys haven't got him. You can really use really, him. Really, really, really nice. 50% health back when you KO somebody. I mean, come on. Think about that. That's awesome. Alright, but I'm going to have to trade him out. And who am I going to replace him with? I do not know. Uh, I'll replace him with General Zod. Why not? And I will put Kryptonian Lex Luthor in just for laughs. And I have to have a flash card. And I think all my flashes are exhausted. So I will actually just put in uh, the, flash. The, flash. the bronze card flash again. And I'll just uh, regenerate his energy. Recharge his energy. Regenerate. What the? That was regenerate. I'll give Zod Mark of the Lady Shiva. And recharge new 52 flash, and we will be on our merry way. This is the 10th fight of the ladder. Alright. Joker starts off blocking my heavy attack against Zod. Uh, if you're wondering about General Zod, is he useful? Is the 20% damage increase useful? You know what? I ask myself the same thing, but I have a funny feeling about Zod. I actually love using General Zod over the regular Zod. Did you see that freeze right there? That was weird. And uh, I don't know why, because to be honest, I really can't tell you if it's better or not. It seems better, but I, I really I really don't know. I think he's good. I like using him, actually. He's a really fun character for me to use. Oh, my battery's getting low. And um, yeah, I, I, I find him awesome to play as. I think he's awesome to use and everything, so... I, I think he's worth it. If you put damage migration cards, gear cards on him too, I can only imagine how much like damage he would be taking from special moves. That'd be pretty cool to see. You can make him into a straight up tank. So, that'd be pretty awesome to see, but I'm not willing to spend the credits in this just for an experiment. Credits in this game are too hard to come by. Alright, a heavy attack, though. Silver card, Wonder Woman to death. In comes gold card, uh, Superman, the original. I let him hit me because I was trying to hit the level 2 special on him, which I got off. I think it's going to kill him. And it does. And it kills Batman too. How nice. That's awesome. Alright, we're on our way to the 12th fight in the challenge. Alright, here's the 12th fight. And it's against Solomon Grundy, Green Lantern Sinestro, and Regime Aquaman. Are they ever going to add another Aquaman card? And what, I mean, are they ever? Just one? I imagine they may add another Killer Frost card. That'd be cool. But, uh, there's only one Aquaman card. You can add the good Aquaman to Oh my god, Solomon Grundy, you, you're so annoying. So all that beatdown I put on him and he just regenerates half his health. That's why he's so annoying. This should kill Sinestro. And it does. And uh, Aquaman blocks the final hit of the attack, and I block his heavy combo. KO him. KO, uh, block Solomon Grundy's melee hits. Block his heavy attacks. I was expecting him to use a level 2 special right there, but he didn't. So, that was pretty shocking to me. And I just melee him to death. And we got 735 credits for that fight. And now we are moving on to... The final three fights and the final three change the the final roster change. So I'm gonna switch out my characters for the final time in this video. Who will I use? Uh, I'm gonna use Go Card Wonder Woman because she's fully charged, and I'm gonna use the other Bronze uh, Flash just because um, I I don't like recharging cards that have a lot of energy, and I'll use uh. Superman while I'm at it. Just for extra enforcement in case Bane is really strong. You never know. So I'm going to give uh, Superman Power Gloves and Regime Wonder Woman the uh, Mark of Lady Shiva. Superman. I won't give anything a flash. And I hit the fight button, recharge, and let's be on our merry way. It's the final three fights, folks. As you see, it's 40,000 credits to skip the third to the last fight. That's ridiculous. So...
don't skip fights, folks. It's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Alright. Got hit with a heavy attack by Lex Luthor. Blocked his heavy attacks again. I was hoping to KO him before he could tag out, but he ended up tagging out. Gonna... Use the level 2 special on Cyborg and KO him. Hopefully I can get Lex Luthor KO too, even if he blocks it. But he didn't... Oh, he did block it, but it, it was enough to KO him. In comes Lobo. I'm gonna block Lobo's level 1 special. He blocks my heavy attacks and hits me with some of his light attacks. I hit him with the light attack, and I'm gonna hit him with the level 1 special and the KMO. KMO, what is that? Knockout, and we got the victory. Two more fights to go, guys. 765 credits, that's awesome. Alright, moving on to the second and last fight against Wonder Woman, Cyborg, and Nightwing. Why do they have two Cyborgs back to back? She blocks my move and gets one of those uh, charge up specials. That's re that really makes Silver Card Wonder Woman. I feel that's a way better special than the original. The, I mean, than the Gold Card, because the Gold Card got Gimp. Knocked her out with the level 1 special. In comes Cyborg. Hit him with some heavy attacks. He's going to hit me with the Sonic Disruptor. I'm going to block it. Hit him with some more heavy attacks. And I'm just going to keep doing this until, until he wises up. In comes a uh, new 52 Nightwing. And he sucks, so that's my personal opinion. I think new 52 Nightwing was a waste. Three, I think it's 300 damage increase for three seconds upon tagging. Do you know when you tag in, the computer is like overly aggressive, so those three seconds are wasted anyway? What were the developers thinking? All right, and now we're on to the final fight, guys. And the final fight says, Boss Challenge, Bane Luchador. Can you survive the power of regeneration to defeat Bane Luchador and sway him to your team? As you see, Bane has 22,000 attack and 63,000 health. He's Elite 2 and he's level 40. And it costs 60,000 credits to skip this fight. But who would ever do that? Nobody. Alright, so we have, oh, and we have random tag on. So it didn't even say that. Random tag. As you see, Bane just blocks all my hits. It's getting very annoying, actually. So we have ran we have chaos going on, and we have regeneration. So he knocks out my bronze flash card, which actually is great because then I don't have to waste time on chaos with tagging him out and get tag getting him tagged in. And I'm gonna hit him with the light attack, block his level three special. I was trying to do my level 3 special but as you saw they tagged me out right I mean I was jamming on the screen for it and they tagged me back in so I can use it in this fight instantly so we're gonna watch as Wonder Woman and her Amazonian sisters put the beat down on Bane alright and that is the victory for the fight do we get any special credits 3,375 credits for beating Luchador Bane. So that's awesome. That's going to put me in the 400,000 credit range. Sweet. And that is the completion of the challenge tower. I'm going to have the tally up. And I will show you what uncommon gear card I get with completing the expert difficulty. So up there's the Luchador Bane, Bane card right there. Right there. Let you guys save her in. And, and I receive a wild disruptor. I will go show you what it is real quick. If you guys don't know, and then I will be ending the video. If you guys don't know what Crowd Disruptor is, it is a level 2. It's a 2 star card, and it does a 5% damage boost to special number 1. And when it's evolved, a 10% stun chance to special number 1. I will also be uh, promoting my Bane card. I forgot to mention that. So, there's his, there's his stats at normal. Soak it in. And here's his stats at elite one all right guys that's going to conclude my challenge number five tower on expert difficulty video for today if you guys like my video please comment on it down below tell me how i'm doing with my commentary or my videos tell me if you like them or hate them let me know i appreciate the feedback if you like my video how about you subscribe to my channel i'll have more videos coming in the future i'll be doing the challenge on nightmare difficulty and i'll have challenge pack videos coming for you guys in the future for you to watch 
I would also like to thank you guys for tuning in to my videos. And I want you guys to have a great day. And I appreciate you guys watching. Alright? Take care, guys. What's up, everybody? Navi17 here bringing you another Injustice Gods Among Us video. In today's video, we are going to be opening up our very first challenge booster pack. So let's go do it.